hello guys and welcome in this new video on medico channel today i'm gonna show you how you can build this website with a transparent layout using html and css so let's get started now guys i need to specify two things before we start coding the first thing is that you're gonna need a text editor so in my case i'm using sublime it doesn't matter actually if you can code in html and css then we're good the next thing is that you're gonna create a new folder in that folder you're also gonna create another one you call it img in the img folder i just save my images actually you can see the website here we have the background image and the logo you also need to create the html index file and the css file hey guys it's mean the world for me when you hit the subscribe button in the description below thank you So guys that's all about the html part so let's add some css code on it just open your style.css file and there you will actually write your css code so now uh, i'm not gonna write the code on this part i'm just gonna explain to you how the css is actually gonna affect our web page so i have the code right here i'm just gonna remove the comment tags step by step and let you see how actually which code actually affect the page so we know that our focus is this we're gonna have this and actually all we have now is this this is the page without any css code on it now let us remove the tags on the body so as you can see the first thing actually that the css is gonna affect is the body of our page so i remove the comment tag i save this and i reload so as you can see we have the effect let me explain to you so now we set the font family the margin the padding so we have the background actually the background is a combination of an image and a linear gradient this image actually doesn't have this color this image is white but i use this linear gradient for setting this color as you can see here the next thing is the navigation bar so i remove this so in the navigation bar as you can see here we have the logo we have the menu and in the menu we have all menu items so as you can see we have the nav itself we set the margin and the padding and we have uh, the menu itself as you can see here this guy so we remove the list style actually if you see here we have this uh, the list style and we remove this by using this here and we have the margin the padding and the overflow is hidden so now we have the menu all items we set the padding to zero the margin and we float it to right so let me reload the page and show you actually so you can see they are here on the right side of the screen we have now the menu list a link so we set some couple of things as the text should be centered we have the text decoration removed because when we don't use this then the text is going to be on the line we have the text transformation to upper case we have the logo image we flow it to left side of the screen we have the width to 250 and the height auto so when you hover this element then you have this effect and uh, when a page is active then we actually have this if you remember i put active on the home page here 
that's why we have this guy here so that was the main navigation now we have the container this guy here so in this guy we have this div and we have this form and in that form you have all inputs and bonds now let me show to you actually the container itself the padding top should be five percent of the height of the screen actually as you can see here we have uh, the text alignment should be centered so everything in the website should be centered as you can see and we have the margin zero and this text here this h1 if you remember this guy we have font size 50 and the color should be white so let me reload the page now we're gonna set some css on our form here so i'm gonna remove the comment tag so if you remember in the form we had the image the logo the input two buttons so the first thing actually we're gonna set some couple of things about our form the first thing is the border radius five pixel so let me show you we have five pixel of border radius here and the high the padding should be 50 percent and we also set the background with the transparency as you can see we have something transparent and it's nice the next thing is the form input so those input the email and the password actually this is actually important because when you set the padding on this on those input if you don't use this web kit for safari and uh, firefox and those things then you won't be able to have this uh, stretch inside of this that will get out of this range that's why we need to specify this now we have the font side the margin top and the border and we also set the image the site the text the alignment actually centered out inside of the box and we also have the padding bottom here 40 pixels i'm gonna reload so as you can see we have those guy correct but the buttons are in now i'm gonna remove this tag so as you can see we have the button we have the button here the width should be 100 percent as those input same and we also have the padding top 50 percent the padding is inside of the button actually the padding top here inside and bottom too and we also have some padding here so and the padding left should be 10 pixels so the font size 25 the margin top the space between the button and those and those inputs actually so when you hover the button then the background became dark and uh, when the button is active then we have this small animation here so this is actually a small translation of the y axis of the y uh, coordinate of our button so let me show you in this so we also have uh, some uh, kind of a specification for button locking because we don't want them to have the same background color that's why we use this if you remember we said class button logging button sign up this was a kind of a setting for those two buttons but now we have some specification for each button the color and uh, the text color and the background color all with transparency now the last item here is nothing than the responsive height let me reload the page actually so you can see everything's nice now now this is actually important because we want that when the screen is smaller than 1200 pixels then we set the font size of the of this text here or oh, sorry so 30 pixel so and the logging form should be 300 pixel and the padding became 4 3 pixel became also small and let me show you actually what i mean by that so if i just do this you see the text is still big now it became smaller and this image also became smaller so this is actually the idea of this this make this website responsive so guys that's all for now thank you for watching videos on medical channel please think about to hit the subscribe button in the description below and you might also turn on the notification button so that each week when i upload a new video then you have a feedback and know what's going on there so stay creative and i hope to see you next time